today we were going to be talking about what we've been up to since our hiatus and just give you guys an update on what's been going on in our brokerage accounts. Yes. So I think we can start by giving you the update that yes, I am officially an investor. I actually have some money in my brokerage account and I actually have a stock already and it's I've already seen stuff going up. Like I signed up with Robinhood and if you do sign up with Robinhood, they will give you a free stock. So there is that and it's not a bad stock because I've already actually seen it go up. So they're not just giving you a random stock. Like obviously they do their research and they're not gonna just give you a bad one. They're gonna give you one that's actually, you're actually gonna be able to see numbers. And it's only been a day and I've already seen my uh, money that I originally put in go up. So I feel really good and I'm very excited about what I invest my money into. I really do like Robinhood because not only is Robinhood very beginner friendly, but the site is very clean, very mobile friendly. Like they, the app is very mobile friendly. Um, uh, from what I noticed with Fidelity is it's not very easy to read if you're not maybe up to date on like their information, their language. So I would say that Robinhood is a good start for people like me who are just beginners and you just wanna maybe mess around, maybe, you know, not take it too seriously, but actually being on there and just seeing how they break it down because they have the charts and they do it really pretty. Like it's red charts if something's going down and green charts if something's going up. So it's very easy to read. Um, they have the symbols so you kind of can even guesstimate what a certain company is like and they even I didn't even set this up but they already have like a list of stocks that I probably should invest in or maybe stocks that are on my watch list so to speak so if you are like me a beginner I would definitely recommend Robin Hood um, to start you off so, without further ado my mom will now update you on what's been going on with her brokerage account. Whew. Let me just tell you that I have been having a heart attack probably for the last couple of weeks. Um, if you caught our last show, we talked about a couple of stocks that I was really interested in. And one in particular had had a really big day. Um, the ticker num uh, letters are GEVO, GEVO. It had gone up to like $2 and some change. And I was like excited because it really went up and I was believing in the company, you know, because I did my research, did the stuff that I, I felt like, you know, was enough for me to want to invest in. Right afterwards, it did go back down. A lot of times when stocks go up that high, they're going to pull back. That stock did pull back, but it, it did stay above because it was down to 55 cents. So when it went up to two something, it stayed up there. It hovered in the low dollar, a little bit under. Hovered around $1.30. Well, as we speak right now, it's back up again. $2.50, I think, in the after hours trading. So $2.50 in the after hours trading right now, projecting to go up to, you know, the product, they projected to go up to $6, $7. Some people are saying $18. We don't know that, but we do know that. That stock is red hot and popping right now and popping on our brokerage account right now. And this is, this is an affordable affordable stock because something I've seen is like when you actually go and you look at these companies, a lot of the really well-known companies' stocks can be maybe like 100 up to even $500 for just one stock. Jivo is around what, $2? $2.50 right now. I mean, that you're not going to be, you're not going to probably lose out like you would if you're investing in a large company and you're going to see a lot more growth in that $2 if you invest because what if it doubles and then you're going to see more of a more of an increase than you would if you spent maybe one or two shares on a more expensive stock so you got to think smarter not harder yes and you know one of the things I learned this week was a guy said you have to figure out how to make money while you sleep buying and investing in the stock market you literally can make money while you sleep and i am a i'm a witness for that and i'm actually have made some good profits on that just to let you know that jivo stock for 
our portfolio has gone up 221 percent yes we got in at 55 cents so we were lucky um even now though it is still a good stock i would say if you have money that you do not need that you may spend wastefully anyways why not buy 100 shares gamblers we're talking about you right I just went to Reno. I put $100 in the slot machine. I won $150 something. Lost that $50. Came back with my $100. Felt good. Really did. Next day, lost $100 back. Still felt okay. But in the end, I got nothing to show for it. I invested in Jivo and a few hundred bucks and boom. You got a lot more to show for it. So you really do have to think smarter. And, uh, well, there's one other stock we talked about, too, in that last show. And it's an up-and-coming stock also. Think of Tesla. You know, where's Tesla at right now? 500? Yes, yeah, about 500. I saw that today. And, you know, I know so many people who are actually still buying the stock. They say it may go up another 100%. So, at $500, it could go to 1000 But I don't know about you. I don't have five hundred dollars to spend on a one stock i mean yeah i could but even if it doubled i wouldn't be able to buy that many shares so another hot stock i've been looking at is solo and if you've been watching the news you have seen that it has really popped in this last few days i mean honestly i was not expecting that it's I bought in at $1.78 a share. I'm fine with that when it went to $3. I was feeling really good. Then it went to $6. And I was like, whoo, really good. But it hit $13 just Friday. It's back down. Don't get me wrong. It's back down in the $10 range. But in the after our market trading, it's actually up right now. Two stocks, penny stocks is what they call them and look at where they are now. But they're up and coming stocks. I did research, did the homework. You have to do the homework on the stocks you're thinking about. We're giving you stock tips. We're not telling you to invest in the stock market. We're just showing you what we're doing and the things we're making. By the way, I just wanna let you know on that solo, it's up 470%. So, what can I say? You know, you, you, you don't know. You really never really know what stock's going to go. Honestly, if you would have asked me yesterday, five days ago, I would have never thought Solo would be at $10 today. $5? Maybe. But $10? No. Even Jivo. If you told me Jivo would be at $2 today, I'd have been like $1.50 maybe pushing it. You know, the way things are right now, $1.50. And it's about 250 after hours trading. Who knows where it will end up at? They're saying it may end up to $18. I don't know. But all I do know is that if you're investing in the stock market, you're investing in yourself and you're investing in your future. And I've been working for the last 25 years. I really don't want to keep working for the next 25 years. So... I'm hoping that these stocks and these stock tips help you like they're helping us so that I can retire in five years and hopefully Gloria will be able to retire before she hits 40. These are nice thoughts. Right? <laughs> Why not? You know, you spend a lot of your time in your life at work. I've spent a lot of my life at work making money, buying things, spending money. Um, but now I'm getting older and I'm thinking I'm ready to retire and what a way of going out. Earning while I sleep. I'm telling you there is some money out there because I just opened up my account today and I have more money than I put in it already. I'm, it's only been a day. So I just I can only imagine what it's going to be when I actually start really investing in different companies and having maybe 10 shares here, 12 shares there. Like I can only imagine how much of an increase that I'm going to see. So yeah, there. I mean, I was a little skeptical at first, very skeptical, honestly. 
but I am definitely warming up to the idea and it is very easy money and I didn't realize how easy it was but it's just Robin Hood does make it very very e it's very beginner friendly so if you are like me and you don't know just open up your account and I'm telling you you're probably gonna be feel feeling way different after you get that first free stock and you're like well, they gave me free stock and I'm already seeing like, you know, the increase in the money. So, yeah, sky's the limit. And, you know, I want to just make a shout out. There's a few people <clears throat> at my job, com, you're one, that you believed and invested early and took my advice and bought a couple of the stocks I've been talking about that Jeevo and Solo, you're in there with me. And shout out to uh, my daughter, Tiara, who actually bought Jivo too. Ooh, shout out to so Tierra. she's actually on that train with us. And hopefully soon, my niece, Alasia, who opened up her Robin Hood account today, will be joining us too in this on this train. All right, Alasia. Let's make this money. You know, so subscribe. Hit that like button. Let us know. If there's a stock out there you're looking at, let us know. Yeah. You know, the one thing I've always thought is that pay it forward, help other people. You know, if you, if I can give you a stock tip and you take it and you make some money, I'm all for it. You know, but just know that you can lose your money. Never invest money that you can't afford to lose. This is true. Never invest money you can't afford to lose. But we all go out and spend money on Nikes and nice watches and champion sweatshirts. Invest in champion. Invest in Nike. Invest in the things that you like to buy. Because if you like them, a lot of other people like them too. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, my name is Gloria. Uh, once again, that this and this is... Christina. <laughs> and once again, this is Good Evening America. We want to say thank you guys for sticking with us and actually bugging us to get these videos out here for you. We are so sorry. It's been such a long time. We promise we will not go away this long again. We will not. There is exciting things happening. We are doing a lot more and we have so many more videos coming your way. Yes, and don't forget, I just started day trading. Today was my first day. First stock I bought already went up $3.55. Tune in for the next show and I'll tell you what that stock is.